Welcome along to the Friday press conference. We have just had a qualifying practice and with us we have our two pole sitters. Uh, to the left, uh, the pole sitter in the OK class, Hannes Janka for the TB Racing Team and to the right of picture, the pole sitter in OK Junior, Paul Aron for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Uh, Hannes, we'll start by speaking uh, to yourself. Of course, this is your home race, so you must be very proud to have taken pole position here. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, it was a good day. I didn't expect that. Um, uh, all the free practice were very close. Uh, we we missed a little bit. Um, yeah, on the end it was a perfect qualifying for me. And it's, yeah, it's, it's good at home. In my home race, uh, feels even better. And your championship's really starting to to pick up now. Of course, uh, you you had a good meeting last time out. Uh, do you feel that this race has come at just at the right time for you? Yeah, probably. Um, it's, it's another chance. Uh, we lost some points in Zano, and uh, yeah, we tried to to to, yeah, to get the points we we lost, and it's another chance, and we try to take the chance. What are you expecting from the racing this weekend? It's a new circuit for many of us, not just on the track but also off the track as well. Uh, as someone who may be a little bit familiar to it, just just tell us what to expect from the racing. We'll be very close races. Um, it's difficult to pass on this track, so it's good to start from pole position every heat. Um, it's very close, every every driver. So I expect uh, that there will nobody be who pull away in the front. Um, so it's going to be re really really tight. And you did have a bit in a both drivers, in fact, but you, you had an advantage over the rest of the field there in qualifying. So uh, that must give you a lot of confidence now heading into the heats. Of course, of course. Uh, especially we had a quite a big gap. It's not usual for Amfing. Um Yeah, and that makes even more motivation to dominate the heats tomorrow. Thank you very much, Hannes, and congratulations. We'll now Thank hand you. over to uh, Paul Aron. Uh, Paul, first of all, congratulations on uh, pole position. Uh, of course, last time out wasn't the best uh, round for you, uh, perhaps one to forget, um, but you know this is a great way to recover from that. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I had a problem in PFI, which uh, ruined my qualifying, and then I just tried to regain all the time I lost by th in the heats and in the final I had an unlucky crash uh, with my teammate. So that was that, but I, I definitely trying to regain the points here and there's defini definitely a big chance to win the championship. And although you had a, a sort of two-tenth advantage over the rest of the field in qualifying, a, a track it's fairly new to you, isn't it? So tell us your impressions of the circuit. Yeah, the track's uh, quite new for me. The first time I drove here was two weeks ago. So I'm really happy with the pole position and uh, I already had the confidence from the morning because I saw that I was really fast in the practices. So I went to the qualifying trying to be in the top three and uh, ended up with a pole position. And I really like the track. It's uh, really original and it's really interesting. It's going uphill and downhill. So you got to approach the corners a bit differently when in, in Sarno it's all flat and it's a lot different line. Certainly provides a new challenge. Uh, tell us where we're going to expect overtaking tomorrow. It, of course, it's quite quite a small track, so you have to take your chances where you can, can't you? So, uh, just tell us wh where do you think the overtaking is going to come from? I think the easiest places to overtake are in the last corner and in the first corner. But it, the best places to overtake are when nobody expects it. So, like in the chicane, if you overtake somebody, then the other person loses a lot of time. So, if you're confident in yourself, then definitely to overtake somewhere where the other person doesn't expect it so you get a gap right away but yeah, the easiest places are in the last and the first corner we've all got to do five heats of course over the course of the weekend a uh, tire wear has come into play at the first two rounds is that going to be more substantial here do you think and and if so have you prepared for that yeah definitely if i have the speed and i pull away i'll, I'll try to save the tires but We'll see how it goes, and uh, I don't think the tyre is going to be that big of a problem. Thank you very much, Paul. Congratulations uh, to the both of you. Best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you for joining us.